Hi and welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional, and today I'm going to give you a short video on what is the RGB mixer up to. Okay, let's firstly grab the scopes. Of course, you'll find that workspace, video scopes, and turn them on. At the moment, I've got it in four up. I just want it one up, and I actually want to look at the parade only. Now, in the RGB mixer, this is a very some again a very delicate area to adjust and manipulate images. I wouldn't use this all the time. But I just want to show you what it can do. First and foremost, we have a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. The, the three main output channels of your, of your image. Okay, and this is sort of reflected on the parade here, RGB. Now, if I go to the blue channel, let's say I want to increase some of the blue in this image. I can grab the blue image, increase it. And you can see more blues being added to the screen. You can see in the parade, blues are being lifted up, and the reds and the greens aren't being moved as much. Now, I can also remove the blues if I think it's too much. Bring those channels down. And then as I'm removing the blue, I'm adding the opposite color, of course. And yellow is coming in. And we can do the same with the greens. We can add the greens and then we can look at the parade. More greens being added. And that's taken away. Most of the movement in the scope will be on the channel that you're manipulating. Okay? Another thing that you can do is, is turn on or off this preserve luminous checkbox. Now, I had it turned on previously, and you can see that as I manipulate these three channels, the luminance sort of stays the same, okay? If I reset that and I turn this off, you will now see that when I start to manipulate these, these channels, the image becomes a lot darker. And this is actually quite handy. For example, this could be really good for setting a data line exposure. It's quite handy before you then go on to create more nodes and creating an extra look. Let's reset that. And finally, one of the things you can do with this as well is create or st have a starting process for a black and white image. So you can do monochrome. This will give you a flat monochrome image straight away. And you, but you could of course still alter the blue, green, red output channels, and this will give you different tones. Now play with it, see what you think. And finally, in the RGB mixer, you can actually change channels as well. So you can swap the reds to the greens, the greens to the blues, and the blues to the reds. So if you want some funky effects, you can start playing and creating a different feel or a different world. So you're manipulating the, ch the output channels. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun now experimenting with what the RGB output